story time. This is a video response to family filming. They had asked after the latest video, I'll link it below, if you've had any camping experiences that you would like to share that's comparable to their last camping trip. Their setup is they went camping with their girls and because um, it's springtime and set everything up and after the camping trip they uh, were putting up their tent and lo and behold there was a black widow spider so you check it out and we had a similar experience too. It wasn't with a spider. It was one of the creatures of a lake. Oh, yes. That's who it was. It was Mr. Raccoon. And here's how it all started. The kids had went camping with their grandma and grandpa, and after work, we decided to throw a bag in the back of the Jeep and head down and surprise them by showing up to the camping site. On the way, we hadn't had dinner, so we decided to stop and get a pizza. Right. We were going to share with Grandma and Grandpa and the kids um, a late dinner. Well, when we got there, because when you camp, a lot of times, when the sun goes down, you go to bed. There's a lot to do the next day, and you get up early to go fishing. So, everyone was in bed. So, I decided to just throw the pizza box and the pizza on top of the Jeep. And make a bed and just sleep in the bed so we don't wake anybody up. As the sun comes up, I heard a little skimpering and scratching. And it was um, hot out, it was summertime. So I had left one of the doors open. I think the back hatch opened too. And I see a little creature crawling into the Jeep with us. I could see glowing eyes. Get out of the Jeep. It was spooked me. And I seen the raccoon looking at me. And it had every intention on using my Jeep door to get to the top of my Jeep and get the pizza box and the pizza for breakfast. So I opened the opposite door. And I crawled out slowly as the raccoon was hissing at me. And I figured it was going to maybe bite me. And I took the pizza box and threw it I was like lucky a enough to have that pizza box fly to where the raccoon could drag it down to the river. and take it to his family and share it with them. Just so you know, I didn't hold it against the little raccoon. I thought I should have put it up proper because wild animals, that attracts them if you leave 
food out, that's asking them to come have breakfast with you. So, at the end of the day, it was kind of neat watching the little raccoon wash his hands and eat his pizza that I meant to share with my family, but I ended up sharing it with the wildlife. And if you have any camping experience or close calls or something fun to add, go ahead. Until next time, guys. Bye.